Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Okay, today we're in the Seven Oaks Mall in Abbotsford in the Fraser Valley outside of Vancouver. And we're gonna check out a vending machine that gives cake. I know it sounds strange. It sounds very Japanese. I remember all the vending machines in Japan that you could buy just about anything. So let's go look for the vending machine that gives cake. Oh, I think I see it. I think it's over there in the corner. Well, there it is. The jar bar. I've never had cake in a jar, but I hear it's a thing. These are brand new for Canada in terms of uh, vending machines. I think they got one in, in another mall, but I'm here now. Let's see what they got. Oh, is it refrigerated? I think so. Got a couple different selections. What are they called? We got red velvet. Cinnamon roll, Oreo, birthday cake. Hmm. Very interesting. Too many selections. And that one on the top looks interesting too. Right. I think I like birthday cake the best, but oh, Oreo could even be better. Hmm. Too many choices. Let's see what the screen says. Canada's first exclusive cake jar vending machine. Hmm. By the creators of Just Cakes. This machine's popular, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So what'd you get? Cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun, okay, let's see it in action. Up she goes, let's see how this works. Oh, oh you ordering more than one? No, just one. Just the one? Oh, simple as that. Okay. Okay, mocha cake. What else we got? Oh, no, mocha cake. Oh, they don't have the Oreo. Cookies and cream. Okay, I'm gonna declare it my birthday. Let's go birthday cake jar. That's the card. Check out. Not the resin. Up comes my cake. There we go. There's my cake. It's nicely refrigerated. So let's take a look at this. Just cakes, birthday cakes. Nutritional information, 430 calories. Nicely refrigerated. 205 grams. Here's the problem though. There are no forks. So, <laughs> how am I gonna eat this out of a jar? That's the first obvious complaint about selling cake in a jar. Um, now, of course, I could bum a fork from some other fast food company here, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it home so that I can properly give it a chance. I'll throw it in the trunk of the car so it stays nice and cold, and then I'll tell you what I think of the birthday cake. Let's go look at some tiny houses. What do we got here? Let's see if they're open. Oh, this green one's interesting. Well, let's go see what we got. Oh, they're locked. They're all locked. Oh, no, this one is open. Let's go in. 
Let's go see what this tiny house is all about. Woo! Ooh, smells new. Okay, let's start with the bathroom. It's a nice spacious bathroom. Ooh, that's a great sink. Nice and wide. I like it. Close the door and you got a fair bit of room. There's cabinets there and this is where the washer and dryer obviously will go. Nice shower, that looks to be probably about six foot three for a height. That'll work for most people. Here's the grand salon. Woo! That's quite nice. Let's close the door so it's a little quieter. Nice narrow stainless steel fridge. Look at the cabinets, they go way up there. Lots of uh, space to store things even up on the top there. It's nice. I'm surprised they didn't go with an induction range, but at least it has an oven. Lots of outlets for your smaller appliances. Double stainless sink. Let's look at the price here. 2021 Stratton Rock. 121,000 Canadian dollars. I'll convert that to American for you folks. Yeah, the list price 155, yeah, right. Those list prices are um, <laughs> fictional. Bi-weekly, 403. I guess that is financed over, let me see, 240 months. 5.99% interest. Not the living room wouldn't be too bad. Don't know where you put your flat screen. Guess you probably have to put it in the wall, in the corner maybe. Guess that's why they got a plug over there. Nice use of cabinetry on the stairs, which of course would be wasted if they didn't. Let's go upstairs to see what things look like up in the loft. Hmm. Maximum load. Well, that's a fair bit of room for a bed. I guess if you put your head here, you'd have more head space. You'd bonk your, your noggin. That looks to be like a heat exchanger, heat pump. Let's see what it looks like from up here to down below. Yeah. Well, we got a second loft over on the other side. So essentially this is a two bedroom. I thought this was gonna be smaller than the one next door, but that's functional. Guess you could always use that other loft for storage, but nice to have two bedrooms. Yeah, I don't mind it. It has that newly constructed smell to it. <laughs> that's not bad. Some people might want to put a rail on this side because there's probably a uh, possibility of a stumble off there in the middle of the night. <laughs> Let's see. Well, that's an actually a great idea for storage. So at least that small space doesn't get wasted. Huh. Not bad. I don't know. You guys put your comments down below on what you think about this tiny house. Because I obviously can't, can't tour that one. They only got two, so I guess uh, this is the tour for today. Okay, I have a fork now. Let's try this cake in a jar. Hmm. Well, obviously the uh, icing is on the top. Hmm. I'm more curious about the cake. Yeah, it's quite rich. It's actually not bad. 
Not bad at all. Don't know if it's worth $8, but yeah. Well, I had to try it. I'll put it away and I will um, have it for dessert later. Anyway, just figured I'd share that with you. Have a great day. Over and out. I got you, I got you